will connect the NVR into my local network. Allow me to tidy up the patch cords inside the cable manager. I will connect also the power cord. ...and type NVR's default IP address. Select your region. Select your language. Select video standard according to your region. Select your time zone. Click on Next. Accept the license agreement and click on Next. Give a strong password. Click on Next. Give your email address to be able to recover your password. If you want, you can give security questions and answers. I will skip this for now. Login using your password. This is NVR's dashboard. Click on Setting. Click on Network. Here you can modify the network settings of the NVR. I will give a static IP address according to my network settings. Click on Setting and Camera. Since I connected my DAHU IP cameras into PoE ports of the NVR, the cameras have been added automatically in the NVR. The IP addresses of the IP cameras have been assigned by the NVR. So now the cameras are accessible only from the NVR and not directly from your local LAN. Click on Camera Name. Here you can change the name of the camera that it will appear on Live View or Playbacks. When done, click OK. Click on Storage. Click on Disk Manager. To format the hard disk, select it and click on Format. To proceed. Seed Administrator Password is required. Click on Schedule. The green bars here mean that all cameras will record every day, 24 hours per day. These are the default record settings. I will show you in another video how to enable motion recording. From Settings, select System. Click on Date and Time. Here you can change your time settings. For example, I will change the date format to Day, Month, Year. I will also enable NTP Network Time Protocol to ensure that my NVR will have always the correct time. The NTP server that I use is pool.ntp.org. From Setting, click on Account. I will add a user. Give a username and a password. Select Group. I will select User Group since I don't want to allow the user to access NVR settings. I will give permission to the user to access all cameras for playback and live view. From Setting, select Network. Click on P2P. For simplicity, I will use Dahua's Cloud for remote access, so P2P must be enabled. Finally, click on Live to view live video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next episode.